In the past century, running shoes have gone from rubber-soled sneakers to gel-cushioned capsules, worn as much for their looks as for increased performance. They're engineered to provide greater support and comfort, helping the runner to go further, faster. We traveled to the Brooks factory in Asia for a look at running shoe manufacture. A running shoe consists of two main sections, the outsole, which forms the base of the shoe, and the upper. Dozens of small components made from polymer plastics, modular rubber, and nylon mesh come together to form the upper. Each piece is shaped and forged from light, strong materials placed to provide cushioning and support to the foot. The breathable nylon mesh used to construct the upper allows airflow to enter and moisture vapor to escape. The heel counter, a supportive plastic cup that supports the runner's heel, is molded by a lasting machine and a strobel sock closes the underside. The upper is stretched over a foot-shaped last former to form it into the shape of the shoe. The finishing processes complete the upper, which is ready to be attached to the outsole. The basis of the outsole is composed of preformed rubber. Its purpose is to cushion the heel and provide a base of support to the foot. Shaped rubber pieces that form the hard rubber tread at the bottom of the shoe are glued into position. The rubber used for this purpose is very similar to the rubber used to make car tires and is very tough. A liquid-filled silicon-based capsule is embedded to provide cushioning for the runner's heel and the front of the foot. There are three general types of running style. Neutral, where the heel hits the ground and the foot travels in a straight line as it goes forward. Overpronation, where the heel hits the ground and the foot moves to the inside. And supination, where the heel hits the ground and the foot moves to the outside. Running shoes are designed to conform to each of these styles. The shoes are then fully laced and, following a final inspection, are shipped to runners around the world. As designs and manufacturing processes continue to advance technologically, today's cutting-edge running footwear may one day seem as primitive to future runners as the first sneakers now appear to us.